In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use the character picker and the post library with some of the default characters in Houdini. To get one of these characters, let's click on the character tab and we'll choose a simple female. She'll be generated into the scene. So let's zoom in for a closer look and see how the rig works. Now, of course, we can work with things interactively in the viewport here. We can grab one of these null objects and move it. We can grab another null object and rotate it around. And that's certainly one way to work. But that said, a lot of animators like to work where they don't see any of these null objects. So what we're going to do is go in and hide those null objects and look at an alternative way of working. And the way to do that in Houdini is to bring up another panel. In this case, we're going to bring up the character picker panel. We'll just expand the pane so we can see it better. And we'll start by going in and loading the character picker for that particular simple female rig. So if we click on the IK on the arm, not only do we get the ability to manipulate that, but we get the specific transform and rotate handles that correlate to it. We can also switch over and rotate that hand as well. If we want to pick the neck, it's already set up for rotation. Or if we want to pick the center of gravity, we can select that and work with it as well. So all those controls are here within the character picker. In addition to the character picker, we also have the pose library. That comes with a character, so the files necessary to set up both the character picker and pose library are stored with the digital asset of the character, and therefore can be loaded quickly and easily. So let's go to the pose library pane. We're going to click and select the simple female and load that in. And you can see that we have a whole bunch of poses right there that we can use with our character. So for instance, we can put her in a fighting stance or have her sitting down. And of course, we can work with these things in connection with each other. We can jump back to the character picker Grab the neck, rotate it around, maybe have her look up. And select the master here and move her over a bit. And just rotate her slightly. Now in addition to the female character, there's a simple male character as well. And that character works in a similar way. Let's have a look at the simple male. We'll go and select him in the character picker. It doesn't update right away, we just have to go to Layout, Load Layout from Digital Asset. Now the character picker window is updated with a simple mail, and we can manipulate him using the same controls that we had before. So let's make him look towards the girl. We also have controls for the hands, feet, and face in these other tabs. So we can grab the eyes look at and control those. Or go back to the hands and feet and shift click to select the controls on the fingers and rotate them. We can rotate his foot. There are numerous controls that we can work with on the character. If we go back to the pose library and once more change it to point to the simple male, You'll notice that there are not only poses, but ready-to-use clips in here as well. We can click on one of the clips to get him walking in the scene. The pose library allows you to capture both custom poses and clips, which you can then add to the existing library and quickly and easily apply them onto your characters. So that's the character picker, pose library, and the default characters we have in Houdini.